Now to, well, this is so disturbing. It is known as stolen valor. Civilians dressing up as military veterans. A Philadelphia man is under fire after being caught on camera, allegedly posing as a decorated army ranger, taking advantage of veteran discounts on Black Friday. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with that story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. Let's introduce everyone to Ryan Burke. He's an Afghanistan veteran who says he likes to talk to other service members when he sees them out. And while he says he was initially suspicious of this particular man's uniform, once he started talking to the man, Burke lost his cool. Where's your combat patch at? Uh, I gave it to a little kid again. All right, why is your flag so low on your shoulder? It should be up here. Got me on that one, bud. This man, Why dressed are, uh, as a soldier, caught on tape getting a too. dressing down. Where'd you get your uh, three CIBs at? Afghanistan. All three? All three. You know you need to be in three different campaigns to get three, uh, three CIBs, right? The man doing the interrogating, former infantryman and Purple Heart recipient Ryan Burke. The man in the uniform, Sean Yetman, who claims Army he's uniform. an Army Ranger. Claims to be a United States Army Ranger. But Burke says he's a phony, who he suspects was using the uniform to get discounts while shopping on Black Friday at a mall outside hey, Philadelphia. Where'd you get a basic training? Fort Jackson. Fort Jackson? You know, only the infantry only goes to Fort Benning, right? Upon a closer look, I noticed uh, a couple things were off with his uniform. The video going viral, viewed over two and a half million times since Friday. Yeah, I just called you out about ten different things. This isn't the first time Yetman's been accused of impersonating someone he may not be pleading guilty to impersonating a police officer back in 2003. These soldier impersonation cases so common, real veterans push for an act called the Stolen Valor Law, which punishes men like Angel Ocasio, who was caught on camera by our ABC affiliate in Tampa, wearing a chest full of medals he was never awarded. We checked with the Marine Corps. They never heard of you. Oh, really? Yetman could face more than embarrassment. Pennsylvania Congressman Michael Fitzpatrick calling for him to possibly face federal charges by violating the Stolen Valor Act. But Yetman insists he's the real deal. Here it is, guys. Stolen Valor at its finest. Why don't you just admit you're a phony? If I was a phony, yeah. then I wouldn't be wearing a shoe. It's you frustrating were? because you serve with, you know, good men who have either lost their lives or been seriously wounded who earned that uniform. We reached out to Yetman but did not hear back. But Burke says it wasn't just the uniform and the way that he answered some of his questions. He says it was even the way that he answered his cell phone with staff sergeant. He says that you simply wouldn't say that. And he goes on to say that his grandfather served in World War II. Mm. So to have this kind of impersonation, it simply taints his legacy and, and so many others. People are really fired up about they this They really one. are I have no angry. idea. I mean, just the thought process, why? Right, and that's why that this law was just mm. implemented just a year ago. So we'll see if, if he faces any kind of charges as a result.